How's it going everybody? It's Patches. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another reading vlog of my book of the month selection. So you're probably wondering, where was your March reading vlog? Or maybe not. I don't know. Basically, I ordered The Two Lives of Lydia Bird to, for March um, because the March book of the month selections were they were okay. Ultimately, I decided on something that I normally would not read and that didn't work. <laughs> so I wound up DNFing that book and I talked briefly about it in my quarterly wrap up video. But yeah, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. So I DNFed it and I actually wound up picking up another one of the books that was available um, for that book of the month but at Barnes & Noble called Writers & Lovers by Lily King. Um, it's on my bookshelf. I have not read it yet but that was also a selection last month and I didn't pick it but that was my second choice. So when I didn't like Two Lies of Lily Bird I just went ahead and bought the other book. Now for April I wanted all five books. <laughs> it was crazy but I wound up going with one of them of course and then my friend Emily from the Spice Bookshelf she wound up picking another book this one and we were going to do a book swap uh, based on our selections from book of the month and then this whole coronavirus thing happened and we were worried about book exchanges and whatnot um so we're gonna wait but we're still gonna do that and i will update you guys in another video with that but this month i decided to go with elizabeth wetmore's valentine now i've cheated a little bit i'm on page 20 because of last month's situation <laughs> I was worried that I wasn't going to like this one either. And the main reason I didn't upload um, my Two Lives of Lydia Bird video is just because it was so boring. Because every time I got on camera, I just kept saying, yeah, I don't really like this book. <laughs> and that was it. And then the end of it, I was just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to DNF this. So I went ahead and started reading this just to see if that was the case again. It is not. This book is so good. I'm only on page 20, like I said, but I'm absolutely loving it. So I'm definitely going to be doing a reading vlog. Then again, I'm only on page 20. I get it. It is a shorter book um, compared to some of the other book of the month books that I have. I think it's like 300 something pages. I'm very excited to get into this. It is about a couple of women in a small town in Texas that is kind of ruled by oil. It's February 1976 and Odessa, Texas stands on the cusp of the next great oil boom. While the town's men embrace the coming prosperity, its women, its women in, intimately know and fear the violence that always seems to follow. In the early hours of the morning after Valentine's Day, 14-year-old Gloria Ramirez appears on the front porch of Mary Rose Whitehead's ranch house, broken and barely alive after a vicious attack in a nearby oil field. This act of brutality is tried in the churches and barrooms of Odessa before it can reach a court of law. When justice is evasive, the stage is set for a showdown with potentially devastating consequences. Valentine is a haunting exploration of the intersections of violence and race, class and region in a story that plums the depths of darkness and fear, yet offers a window into beauty and hope. Told through the alternating points of view of indelible characters who burrow deep in the reader's heart, this fierce, unflinching, and surprisingly tender novel illuminates women's strengths and vulnerability and reminds us of the stories we tell ourselves that keep us alive. It is very good so far. Um, and what's interesting is Book of the Month just did a based on your zodiac. This is what you should read and Scorpio's was Valentine. <laughs> Don't know if I'm going to finish it today, but I do want to finish it in the next couple of days. So hang out with me for more. I'm watching my buddy play some Warzone. Watching my buddy play Warzone. It was raining. 
again, I feel like every reading vlog I do, it has to rain. And I went to my boyfriend's to do laundry, and I left Valentine here, so I didn't have it at my apartment. But with me, I did have the new book, uh, the new debut novel by Chelsea. I think her last name is Biker. Got shot, finished it. Gave it three stars, though. It was fine. Um... Mm, it just ultimately didn't go places that I wanted it to. I did a full review on my Instagram and Goodreads, of course. Also just because I was watching um, Kat talk about it, I started my copy of Sharp Objects. It's fine. Also, I'm enjoying it, but her, Jillian Flynn's writing is very interesting. But with that being said, I think tonight I'm going to finally get back into Valentine. I think I'm going to actually... so crooked but you know what I don't care we are now in airport hours it is acceptable to drink whenever you want I don't know what day it is I think it's still 2020 I'm not entirely sure but you know what I am unbothered I'm in my silk robe I need to shower of course but you know what Shh. let's discuss the book I am at around page 122 of Valentine. I'm loving this book, you guys. It's making me so happy that I finally picked a book from Book of the Month that is just satisfying all of my reading needs. It is, it's interesting um, how it's written. The characters are so fleshed out. It's one of those situations where when I was, I went, I went to film school and we were always told by our writing professors, simple stories, complex characters. And that's exactly what this one does by Elizabeth Wetmore. It's just got the most fascinating characters and I think I really like it because I can relate to it as far as living in a very small southern town. Um, this also was the case for the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. Growing up in a small, specifically southern town, you are accustomed to rumors, you're accustomed to like everybody knowing your business, and this particular story has to do with um, a girl who was raped, but it's also in the 70s, where Things are kind of things are much different. We'll put it that way, um, and it's it's just written in such a way that it's it's oh my god I love it and things happen with one character and then you'll jump to the next character and like she was involved with that first thing that happened and it's like all their stories somehow like intertwine and I've been thinking of how to word that for like 24 hours now but I can't other than just like all the stories intertwine and it's so fascinating and I love when the author takes the it seems like she clearly took the time to write this as far as making like a timeline and really fleshing out these characters and really um I don't know just being tentative to like everything that's going on and it's so easy to just plop into this world because it's like they seem real I don't know I'm, I'm loving this book and I don't want it to end I'm about halfway through a little under halfway through and I'm just I'm so excited to keep reading this and I really want to finish it today but clearly I need to shower I need to shower I have a couple other things to edit I have a couple other things to do for my other channel there's just a lot going on. But you know what? I woke up at noon today. I'm having some Chardonnay. And I don't care. I'm making the best of this whole stay inside situation. And they just extended it another month. So, <laughs> get used to it. I am very excited to continue this though. It's such a good book. I'm really enjoying it. It's just like, it's, it's wild too that I'm reading a lot of debut authors novels by debut authors and it's like oh my god 
what am I doing with my life? <laughs> These people are so talented. Or they have good editors, I don't know. But fantastic so far. And it's also got like the best colors, like this very dusty rose. <sighs> I'm so happy. All right, hey everybody. So I just got out of the shower, but I straightened my bangs. Um, my hair's super wet. Um, it is like 4.30 in the afternoon and I just made a cup of coffee. So that's where we're at. So I stayed up until about 4 a.m. reading this and I finished it. And I wanted to sit on it for a second before I gave a rating, gave my thoughts. So here is that. I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was very, very good. I thought it was very well written. I think I'm going to give it four out of five stars because I, at the end of the day, had some kind of lingering questions at the end um, about some of the characters. Ultimately, you're following about three characters throughout the book with like four more, four or five more people kind of thrown in and you get to hear their backstory too, which wasn't necessary in my opinion I guess I just it wasn't um some parts were some parts I've loved some of the characters I'm like why is this in here um and then the pacing to me felt a little off at parts um because when it started like the first page the first two pages are literally the incident and then it just kind of goes to a different character and how her husband died and it it was such a great I mean, unfortunate, but it was such a great story and it was a great storytelling that I really was intrigued, but I almost forgot about like the point of the story. I almost forgot about like what exactly we were doing here, I guess, if that makes sense. Like it wasn't a bad thing, but it just kind of after a while, I'm like, wait a minute, who was that girl at the beginning again? I did like it. I really did like it. The writing was really interesting. The pacing again was off. I think one thing that I have to keep in mind when I'm thinking about this review is that in the little fold where it's talking about the story surprisingly tender novel illuminates women's strength and vulnerability and reminds us that it is the stories we tell ourselves that keep us alive and i think with that i have to remember that this, this is what this book is trying to do um it is a lot of storytelling and it's a lot of powerful women telling stories and it's a southern town and it's very identical to what i remember growing up with and it's very um it's very well done. I really enjoyed it. The girl that wrote it, Elizabeth Wetmore, is from West Texas, so she's taking a little bit of what she also has experienced. Ultimately, this was a very good book. It is a contender for one of my favorite books this year, but I don't know. It's 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 very well done though. I feel like I'm not doing it enough justice, and I feel like I'm not as energetic to say like I loved it. But I've just I've been sleeping all day. I'm very tired, um, trying to catch up from staying up at 4 a.m. But this was a really good book. I'm going to now pass this off to my friend Emily from This Buys Bookshelf and she's going to read this and we're going to do a little book of the month book swap. So I'm going to read her book choice and she's going to read this one and give her thoughts as well. But yes, four out of five stars for me and I hope you guys liked my section of the video and I do recommend picking this up. I really do recommend it.